right, guys. So going out today is this Shawn Michaels Hasbro figure. He did have some ink on him because someone thought he needed more exciting <laughs> pants. Uh, he went out for $7. Obviously, we did disclose the condition on him. Uh, next, we have this knitting machine up here that we got at Goodwill Bins. Uh, it's very light, so we did not pay it very much, I don't imagine. Uh, that is going out for $15. We did take an offer on it because we have had that a while. Uh, the lady said that the knitting guide, or the yarn guide, excuse me, was missing. Uh, and she had one, but hers has issues and she needed this to replace it. So we were happy to send that out for that offer. I'm just gonna squeeze that in right there. <laughs> Falling into the Sarlacc pit over there. Sorry guys. Anyway, uh, we also have this little Tupperware bowl going out that I picked up at a yard sale. I think I paid 10 cents. That is going out for $4.99. We also have the book that I showed you going out today that is already bubble wrapped, but that's Hitchhiker's Guide, the leather bound. Uh, and that is going out for $21. We did take an offer on that to get a quick sale and get things moving. And I do have two more hauls for you. So stay tuned for that. So, I bought these all at a yard sale this weekend next door to the yard sale I was holding. Uh, so we have these two Star Wars legacy books. They are graphic novels, and we have a pair of them. Unfortunately, they do not have their dust jackets. However, I am estimating we will get about $200 for the pair of those. I paid a dollar a piece. So great score there. Those were the best score of that yard sale. We did get this sealed uh, leather bound Barnes and Noble Star Wars trilogy. That again was a dollar. All books and DVDs and everything were a dollar a piece. I believe we currently have that listed for $30. We also have this leather bound ultimate hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy i had that listed for 25 dollars and actually got an offer on it in like 10 hours so that is actually going out today so that's why we're doing this haul real quick here uh also this anime set for samurai x that I believe I have listed for around $45. We have these two StarCraft Prima strategy guides. Those not a huge value, but those are up as a pair. I don't remember the exact price I put those up there for, uh, but we will throw the screenshot up there for you guys. Uh, also, there were two, oops, excuse me, there were two of these Helsing books, I picked those up, not huge value, but certainly more than a dollar, and then three full Metal Alchemist books as well, that is one, two, and four. So I'm putting those up as a lot for one and two, and then four is separate. Uh, also picked up this Supreme Commander Forged Alliance Windows PC game. Star Wars Empire at War. This is the expansion pack and the original game combo. Uh, also PC game. And then this Empire at War expansion case that has the original game and the expansion in it. Why they had two copies of the same game, I'm not sure, but here we are. Uh, also, these three Helsing 
series one, two, and three. Those also went up as a lot. I will throw the comp up there on that. And we have Fable, PC game, Lost Chapters, and Samurai X, the motion picture. Again, that is also in the box set, but they had that as well. Uh, also at that same sale, I picked up a couple of Game Boy Advance cars. That's those guys there. This one is really cute. You push down and his wheels go funny. Uh, anyway, so we will throw some comps up there on those guys because I do not remember specifically what all those were. We showed you that guy. This guy. They're definitely in played with condition, but I found that that is still acceptable. We just discount them a little bit extra for the ones that are in rough shape, and those still seem to move for us. So that is those guys. Okay guys, as promised, the second haul. So, at a favorite local thrift store, I picked up this really cool vintage Red Sox tankard mug. That was $1. I have not looked up exact comps on this guy, but I'm thinking probably in the $12 to $15 range, we will throw it up there if it is different than that. Uh, also, this really fun vintage rolling pin that says Papa Loves Mama. Uh, that was $3.50. I will throw comps up on that because honestly, I have not seen one like this before. So we will get those up there for you. Also, this nice Westmoreland sugar and creamer set. They have cherries on them. There is a small chip on the creamer, but I do think that they are very nice despite that. And I'm actually a little concerned that that may have happened after the fact because I did not see that initially. Uh, and the girl that bagged it did clank them around a bit. Uh, so those were $5 for the set and I will be putting them in my antique booth, I think, uh, probably around the $20 mark, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, next is a Mr. Coffee Cafe Frappe. Uh, that is a Bolo, guys, if you have not heard of that. Uh, so, Pitcher comes out. It's got the little blades in there and the little tube. I honestly have not used one. I do not know exactly how they work. Uh, and then the instruction manual is in there as well. So that was only $5 and I expect that to sell for around $50 to $55. Next, these were actually in a free pile. So it was a completely free yard sale. They had everything outside on tables, all set up, but everything was free. Uh, and this is a Telco Santa in the sleigh. We have not tried him yet. Uh, so I will try him and see if he is working. Uh, but he does have the little light in his bell and I am not sure if he does anything else, so we will find out. Uh, I did see a, a current for sale comp up there, but I will throw up some sold comps, and I expect we will make quite a bit more for him towards Christmas, so we may hold off on listing him. Uh, and then also a Telco Reindeer. This is Prancer. Uh, all the ones that I was seeing for the most part were Rudolph and had the red nose that lit up. So he's a little different uh, and I will, again, probably sell him closer to Christmas. 
but we will try to get some sold comps up there showing what they sell for around Christmas time. And again, we will get him tested. They also had this box full of remote controls. So I have not run comps on any of these yet, uh, but there's Samsung, there's Spectrum, there's Dynex, there is Sony, there are LG, Toshiba, all sorts of remotes. We will get those all tested and listed and typically remotes are around the $10 neighborhood, sometimes more and sometimes a little less. Uh, however, a giant box full of them for free is definitely a bolo. <laughs> uh, so the way to test these, and I don't know if the batteries are any good in any of these, uh, so we will have to get batteries as well. But you can actually, no, it's not gonna do it. We'll have to find one with batteries and show you guys at some point. But if you point them at a camera lens, they will light up and you can see the light. It also may just be too bright out here to see, uh, but we will get those all tested and listed. Thanks for watching guys. Okay guys, moment of truth. We're gonna test these out. So let's start with Prancer. I'm gonna start with him. see that guys his head moves really slow but he is moving and working all right now let's see ready for Santa let's find out He has a switch. All right, we need one of those drum rolls like in Christmas Vacation. Let's see. Oh, he works. His light is not lit, but that may just be a bulb issue. But Santa is in fact moving. So this is very exciting. We'll get a new bulb in that and find out if it's just a bulb. But I am very encouraged. All right, guys. Well, that's awesome news that they're both working. I'm so excited. Uh, so the listed Santa that I saw was around $149. Uh, and the sold comps that I was seeing for reindeer were around $80. Uh, but we will go on Terra Peak and research some sold comps a little closer to Christmas. And we'll post some of those for you. Thanks for watching.